Hello everybody, my name is me Happy Dude, and welcome back to Dungeon of the Endless. Now we're here with Tryhard, <laughs> Lady Tulok. Uh, we've got Engineer Pulmoni back at it again. And of course, of course, the ineffable Spider-Man Golgi, who, as we all know, is, uh, is on the case. So we've got uh, a few rooms here. Uh, we've got two doors, actually. We just have two. I don't know why I said a few. We've got two. Two doors that we can go into. Let's go ahead and have Lady Tulok try hard. Open that door. You know what? Let's send everybody over there. Oh, a chest! Look at that. How nice. T-shirt. Oh, so fancy. Let's give it to Tulok. There we go. Tulok is finally clothed. We can stop worrying about that now. That is just a minor module room. Uh, but let's just keep going. Let's keep following that path. Oh, we need a major module. We can't even power anything right now. Okay, Tulak, handle those bugs. There she goes. Yep, just leave, uh, just leave Lady Tulak in there to deal with everything, guys. Don't feel like, uh, you need to help. Engineer Pulmoni and Spider-Man Golgi are really lazy. Oh, more bugs. Nope, they all got taken down. Immediately. Okay, so we've got a good little three-room power chain going on, which is very nice. We've got 88 industry right now, 38 science, and 100 food. Ah, 100 food, not bad. All, as always, we start off with an industry generator. Every time we're going to start off with an industry generator. And let's go ahead and add some prisoner prods right here. Just where we need them, just in all the right places. Which are, of course, most of the places. And let's keep going north. Uh, we'll get back over to these rooms later on. I think we're gonna be okay. Uh, let's go ahead and send Lady Tulak back, back through that breach. Let's send everybody back through that breach, because we don't need them to power any rooms right now. They're just in that huddle. Oh. Well, that's an empty room. Uh, so it looks like if we go right, it'll connect to this north path. So let's go west right now. Everybody go west. Oh! Okay, so we find a merchant here. What's he selling? He's selling stuff for science again, which is always questionable. Radio health max loses 120, but attack power gains 16, which is really nice. The Fuzi, F-U-Z, once a simple submachine gun, this gun is covered with remnants of fur and blood. Oh, well, that sounds awful. That sounds really bad. HGTTG unlocks knowledge is good, a strange but very useful black box, no need to panic. And then a prison uniform and a rapier. Uh, we're probably not going to spend our science yet. We need to research a lot more stuff, honestly. We're not doing great with research with our little, our trusty trio. So we're going to hold off. Let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and have Lady Tulok go through that door. Another major module, but it's so far north it almost doesn't even matter. Okay, come on, Spider-Man Golgi. Get in there. Oh, is that a Hydra? Whatever that thing was, it was big. Okay, power to one more room. Good. That's what I wanted. Now, Lady Tulak, you're gonna have to keep going to that easterly direction. Because we've got people in all the other rooms. Oh, that's a lot of monsters. Let's regroup over here, Lady Tulak. You and Spider-Man Golgi can fight better together. There you go. See? Together you can rock their world. Oh, we've got power for another room. Let's go ahead and power this room so that Engineer Pulmoni can join us on the actual battlefield. Oh, but if I power the other way... Oh, we get to power another major module. No, we need some dust first before we power this. I want us to be able to power both at the same time without having to bounce characters around to power rooms or to prevent monsters from spawning in rooms. Okay, Lady Tulak, keep going north. Northward bound ye go. Man, I should have gone north first. There's so many major modules that need powering up here. And I still don't have enough energy to power anything. Oh. All right. If we search hard enough, we're going to find something. I know it. We're going to Oh, we're going to find monsters. Come on. Come on, Lady Tulak, run. Nope, they've caught up with you. You're going to have to kill them after all. So many of those weird little spider things. She's just one manning this entire dungeon. Okay, now we can power another major module room, and let's install... Uh... How much does it cost to level up? Oh, like a solid 25? 36? Oh, 25, 36, 36. Uh, let's go for... Not another industry generator. Let's do food replicator. 
is now in that room, and we can add a few prisoner prods to protect it from all the baddie monsters. All the baddie monsters. Come on, Pulmoni, get in that room. Wait, what are you doing? What are you? Why are you slacking so hard, Pulmoni? Okay, Lady Tulak, keep pushing north. Someday one of these will lead to an exit. Ah, oh, that's so just comforting. Oh, we've got monsters over there. Um, we uh oh, they're they're attacking Lady Tulak. Retreat, retreat south, Tulak. Face the Hydra together. Oh, that's that's a crazy dance Golgi was just doing. Well done, you two. Oh my gosh, they're spazzing out a little bit on that spot. I don't know why. Okay, let's investigate this scientific. <laughs> let's investigate this scientific machine a little bit more. So we have reset researches. Uh, KIP cannon. Um. Viral injector. None of those sound great. But what does our prison prod do? Attack power nine. Oh, oh. Let's let's invest in a KIP cannon. You know, it'll it'll do damage based off of our science. It's got to be worth something. That's <laughs> that's my hope. It's got to be worth something, right? Come on, Lady Tulak. Now you're gonna head east. You know what? These this trio get along pretty well. Not doing too bad for a first outing with these guys. Pulmoni's always smoking. Anything flammable she takes care of. Come on, guys, get, take care of those monsters. You, oh, you're just gonna let the crystal get past and make the guns kill it? Smooth, smooth, Tulak. Anyway, I thought I thought you were gonna be better than that, Tulak. I thought you tried hard. I thought that was kind of your thing. Golgi, get down there. Keep pushing east, Tulak. But as I was saying, they feel like uh, they feel like they're doing pretty well so far. This ragtag group of adventurers. More monsters. I, I do not see this going well. This is some kind of squiggly entrance. Some kind of squiggly crazy maze. I think the correct term is. Okay, Pulmoni, you can't one-shot a high draw on your own. You're gonna need some backup. Okay, don't be the hero. Yeah, you guys, as a group, look, they're just clearing out monster after monster. Even though some of them went to low health. They made it in the end. Oh, two more powered rooms. Two more powered rooms. Uh, that's probably the big one up here. So we can get another major module up and running. The science module for people that want to know things. Okay, Pulmoni, we're going to have you scout right there. Golgi is going to take the second room. Tulak, you're going to break down one of these doors. You're going to break down the east door, Tulak. Have no mercy. Break it down. Break it down hard. Do it. Yeah. She did it. KIP cannon unlocked. Okay, so we've got that under our belt. And we're getting five science a room now, which is not too shabby, if I do say so myself. And I did. So, there it is. <laughs> oh, more monsters. Pull back, Tulak. Everybody fall back. Fall back to one of the powered rooms. Oh, run, Tulak. Don't don't stop. That Hydra is going to... Oh, there's two Hydras. Okay, that's not a good thing. I think... I don't see any more monsters coming. Oh, we should probably give... Wait, why did I wait to build it up? Ah, oh. Sorry. Just, um, just confronting my own stupidity right now. So, what I should have done is build the turrets up here with the science generator, the research machine. Instead, I built the... I'm sorry. I should have built the research machine down here, down south, so that it's closer to this main road, and I could just channel everything through there. But instead, I built it up north, where it's vulnerable and does no good unless we protect it. So, I totally get the order of operations here. Okay, Pulmoni, you're gonna level up. Okay, Pulmoni can now operate machinery. They can operate major modules. The hero needs to stay at least one turn in the room to improve the module's effect. Good, that is very nice. Now, what skill? Oh, Golgi's not even gonna get a skill when they level up. It's just stats. So, I really wanted to get that skill for good old Pulmoni so we can actually start operating modules and getting some benefit from that. I'm gonna send her to the industry room because we just spent a lot of industry and we might need to spend more of it before the day's out. It might be smart to send her to the science module so we can buy so stuff with science from the vendor but now that I have that science gun I just I can't I can't spend any of my science. Sorry storekeeper but gonna have to find another another sucker because I'm not gonna give any of this sweet sweet science up I have 37 whole sciences 
I don't know if you realize how high that is. Okay, we got another room here. Two lock, first in, as always. Another research bay. We can power this room now. Okay, you guys are gonna have to pull back again. Oh, there's so many hydras. Uh, pull back to the room with guns, guys. You guys are gonna have to protect. Just have this be your strong point. There you go. Go after those. Oh, okay, that I need immediately to heal up Golgi. Use your webs, Golgi. There you are. Oh, she's still taking far too much damage. Okay, heal, healing up Golgi again. Getting up the good old Spider-Man Golgi. It still has not worked. Come on, Golgi. Pull through this. Golgi needs healing. Somebody feed Spider-Man. Oh, you got this now. You guys are good now. Okay. Spider-Man needs a lot of food to keep his strength up. I found that out. Golgi, you are a bit of a nuisance when you need that much food. Does Golgi even wear armor? Yeah, she's got the tutu on, which has 10 extra defense. Oh, they need some... Oh, but she only has... She only has... She has less than 400 health, that's why. Everybody else has more, way more than that. Oh, that's a terrible health number. That's a really bad health number. Okay, so our other... Our other module, our other little item has to be to improve Golgi's health, because that is an abysmal health score. Ooh. Oh, boy. That is, uh, that is not good. But now we got Pulmoni operating that, this gear. You can see the shiny green gear as it turns above her head. That's beautiful. That means that we're getting 14 industry a door now. Eh, 14, not too shabby, not too bad, not too broken. Let's go ahead and put our KIP cannon in here, just to see what it does, just to play around with it. Plus, we're getting that 14 industry a turn, so why do I care? Why, what do I spend on industry stuff? Okay, why can I not click on... She's still in her battle pose. Lady 2 lock. Ugh... All right, Lady Tulak, head down south. You're not done. Your job is not over. We have more doors to do. And we plan on opening all the doors to every area. Oh, go to the science place first. Let me see. Okay, we've got dust field generator, which adds defense to heroes in the same room that it's at. Uh, a sea blaster. Due to poorly optimized code, this module's grenades damage everyone. Oh, uh, yeah, I'd rather not have uh, a module that damages everybody in the room. Like, it's not something that I really want to invest in, so I'm going to pass for right now, okay? We're going to pass until we get about 100 science. I don't need self-destructing mines. That seems stupid. Oh, another... A, a quaint hallway. Full of monsters. Run, Tulak. Run away. With all swiftness, run. Retreat into the nether regions of this endless dungeon. Pulmoni, you just sit tight and keep typing away on those numbers and smoking. I don't know how she's typing while she's smoking like that. Okay, here everybody comes. Oh, and Golgi's immediately down. Come on. Okay, Spider-Man Golgi made it away. Okay, come on, Lady Tulak. You've got this. You've got that KIP cannon. Nice. That cannon's working, at least. Cannon worked actually pretty decently. I mean, we do... Not to brag, but we do have 47 whole science numbers. Okay, Golgi. You are terrible at um, being recon, Golgi. I'm just gonna say that right now. You have no health. I didn't realize that last time, but I do now. Golgi is a glass cannon, if there ever was one. What's her attack numbers? Is her attack number at least good? She's got 43 attack power, 54 DPS. Which is just barely more than... It's not even as much as Tulak. And Tulak... I guess Tulak has the toothpick, the sandwich, and the t-shirt. How much health does the... Ah, oh, the sandwich only increases health by a 30 max. How about the t-shirt? No... Nope, Rice Wind's not going to give any extra health. So we need to find armor that actually increases Golgi's overall health. That is just, that is such a pain in my side right now. Okay, Tulak, since you're the only person that can actually take a hit, continue opening doors. Oh, look at this. Pat, level two. Hi, who? Hi, what? Hold on. Um, I think that's how you're supposed to read that dialogue line. But we have a new character! We have Pat the Fire Guy. Beautiful. Pat the Pyro. What a, what a wonderful character Pat the Pyro is. His portrait's actually pretty cool in that top right corner. That's awesome. Nobody knows where this thing came from. What it thinks or why it does what it does. Eager researchers who interview Bates tend to either quickly change their area of study or go mad themselves. Pat Bates. Alright, Pat Bates. Crazy Fire Guy Pat Bates. Firestarter Pat Bates has joined the team. Passive skills. Magical rainbow fire? 
self zone damage radius plus 50 self burn damage over time plus 10 health per second on every damage mob self burn damage over time duration plus five share your happiness with all your friends oh that sounds lovely <laughs> scamper the monsters don't slow down the hero and pack of dogs which i believe we actually have a few characters with that yeah golgi and pulmoni both have pack of dogs so they our uh, our fire starter here can actually work pretty well with a lot of people that's pretty it's pretty good dps why is dps zero hold on is he literally just gonna burn himself alive and run into a, like a, a ton of enemies? Oh, there's an active skill. I should probably pay the food to get that extra skill. Spoonfuls of love. Heroes in room attacks without making any damage except damage over time like fire. Okay. Minor modules in room attacks without making any damage except damage over time like fire. Attacks without making damage any time. Uh. Okay, so it. So it just turns off everyone's attacks except his fire attacks? I guess that's acceptable. Uh, we spent a lot of food for that, though. So we're gonna have to have Pulmoni operate a food generator next time, because we're getting dangerously low on that after recruiting him and then upgrading him. That was a lot of food. That was a lot of stuff. Alright, Lady Tulak, you're gonna have to be the first through that door again. Uh, I guess we'll just have the fire starter play backup this time. You know, since we can... Oh, we found the exit! Look at that! And we can power this room now. Anybody spawn? Anybody crazy spawn? No! I guess the monsters decided we weren't worth the trouble. Well, I don't know how I feel about that. I'm, I've been scorned by the monsters and it does not feel good. I I don't know why, but I just... I guess I held all my self-worth on those monsters. I don't, I don't know why it was such a big deal, but... Now I kind of feel like... I've, I've just been left out of this crazy party. The monster party? The monster mash! I Why did people stop inviting me to monster mashes? What? It was a good October that I got to go. <laughs> I don't know why it ended. All right, Firestarter Pat, let's break through this door. I want to start with him so I can see what he can do. Some people have their doubts about you, kid. Show them that you're worth something. Oh, he found a little machine. A beep boop indeed, little machine guy. Covered in dust and dust. Activating it may bring wealth or death. Let's do it. I don't know what that did. I don't know what that did. Did we get more food? Uh, I wasn't attentive enough to see that. Ooh, that's, uh, it's not a good thing that I did not see the effects of that. <laughs> that's a, that's a poor sign. It's a bad sign. You've opened the last door of the current dungeon. Well, I guess that's the dungeon for you. I guess... After we found Firestarter Pat, nobody else wanted to come to the party because they were just too afraid of his fire starting ways. Which is okay. Who has the highest speed right now? We've got 48, 27, uh, 22, and 28. So looks like Spider Man is going to be our crystal runner for a little while now. I am excited that we have a full complement of people. We have. Let's go down the roster again. We've got Try Hard, Lady. I almost said Pulmoni. It's Lady Tulak. It's not Lady Pulmoni. Pulmoni's not a lady. We do have Engineer Pulmoni, who's right now manning the industry systems. And she is, of course, a slacker. Then we have Spider-Man Golgi. Uh, the Glass Cannon Spider-Man Golgi. She has too many nicknames. Glass Cannon Spider-Man Golgi. Then we have Firestarter Pat, who, of course, has the Spoonfuls of Love ability. Let us get this thing started. So, we're going to have to build a path of powered rooms all the way to the final door, which means we're gonna have to depower all of this stuff. That that turned a lot of lights off. Uh, I did not expect it to turn that many off. Let's let's forge a path. Right there. Okay. So we're gonna have everybody be taking the back. Everybody's gonna guard the back except for uh Golgi, who's going to absolutely run this crystal. I am more comfortable with three people now playing backup as opposed to two before. Okay, Spider-Man, take this crystal. I bet the bugs will be coming out of the walls for this. Yep, head straight to the crystal room. There she goes, look at her go. Look at her majestically glide to that exit room. And oh boy, monsters are coming. Monsters are coming and monsters are here. They're getting pretty wrecked though. Look at that, look at the fires that that fire starter is starting. It's almost like he lives up to his name. <laughs> Weird. 
Oh man, that's that's some cool fire. Okay, we should actually tell them all to run now. It's it's time to run, guys. You played back up for a good long while. Everything's been fun. Now just get out of there. Go. Hit the road. Oh, they're all so slow because of the items that I've given them. Keep keep moving, guys. Oh, Pulmoni's getting left behind. Um, everybody else, somebody's gonna have to distract from Pulmoni. Two lock head back there. Take some shots from Pulmoni. Oh, don't get so involved though that you get eaten up. No, don't go to the science module. Run! Run, two lock. That Hydra's gonna eat you, man. No, keep going. Keep running. Stop. Stop just stopping in the middle of places. Okay, we got four to four ready. Too bad, you little monsters. Try again next time. Bloop. Dead. Nuke. That, that's a tiny nuke that detonates every time. All right, Pulmoni's got some stuff to say. How about if the newbie takes point? Oh, that was it. That <laughs> what insightful dialogue Pulmoni has to offer this ragtag group of people. Well, it's been it's been fun. That did take us 20 minutes, so the levels are getting longer as we progress, and that was only floor four. We killed 378 monsters, though. Not too shabby. Opened 52 doors. Uh, and we have 131 industry, which is going to be good starting out on this next floor. We can get a lot of major modules pumping out, getting us resources, building up that science for the new science gun, science laser thing. We, uh, we hit a good spot. We have four people. There are varying levels. We do need to fix glass cannon Golgi Spider-Man, though. That is something we do need to change. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining me for this episode of Dungeon of the Endless. Uh, I've been me happy, dude. This has been Dungeon of the Endless, and as always, stay happy.